Hello guys and you're welcome back. In our last lesson, we saw how we could change our text title for our command line, we could change our colors, we could find out information about our system, we could clear our screen, we could also create a new window using the start command and we could check which version of our operating system we're working on. This time around, let's go ahead and see how we can work with files, folders and directories. So I'm going to press Windows R, type CMD and click OK to run our command line. So the first thing we want to do is to change our directory. We can do that with a command called CD. So let's change our directory to the desktop like so and voila, we're on the desktop. I'll just go ahead and drag this to the right a little bit so we can actually see our desktop. I only have one folder right here, which is the recycle bin. So next, what we're actually going to do is to create a folder on our desktop. To do that, we'll just use the word MD and we call that a new folder and press the return key. We actually see a new folder created on our desktop called new folder. Now let's go ahead and move into new folder. We move into folders using CD. So I'll just say CD new folder. This simply means change directory and now we are in the new folder directory. If we want to find out the content we have in a folder, we'll use the dir command and this tells us the volume and tells us that we have zero files in this folder right here. So we don't have any files. So let's go ahead and create two new folders within our directory. So I'm just going to do a md and I'm going to say monday comma Tuesday comma Wednesday just like that so if I go ahead and list out my DIR it actually tells me right now I have Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and this DIR simply means the folder let's go ahead and clear our screen so right now how do we move content in a directory or basically how do we change the names of a folder in a directly let's go ahead and change monday to mon now within this folder what i'm going to do is to say r e n for rename i'm going to say monday and i'm going to say mon if i type dir again to list my directory we can actually see that i've changed monday to mon so let's go ahead and open this folder and we can see we have mon tuesday and wednesday that means that actually worked and we've renamed our directory how do we also move files from one directory to the other what i want to do right now is to move monday to the tuesday folder so to do that i'm just going to say move i'm going to use the uh, command move monday to tuesday so it says one directory has moved let's go ahead and list that directory so you can actually see we have Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's go ahead and change our directory to Tuesday. So I'm going to say CD Tuesday and just like that we're now Tuesday folder and let's list the contents of that folder and we can see we have one content called Monday. Let's go ahead and open that folder right here. So we open Tuesday we can actually see that we have Monday within the Tuesday file. So that's how we can move folders and create directories we can also delete directories so uh, let's go ahead and see how we can move back into our parent folder so right now we are in the tuesday folder like so let's see how we can uh, move back into the monday folder so let's say cd mon and right now we're in the monday folder let's go ahead and clear our screen using cls so now that we're in Monday, if we do DIR, we just have no file in that Monday folder. Let's see how we can step back to the parent folder. If I do CD and I say dot dot, I'm going to go back to Tuesday. And once I do CD and dot dot again, I'm going to go back to new folder. And you guessed right, if I say CD and dot dot, I'm going to go back to my desktop. So right now I'm on my desktop that only has the new folder and the recycle bin folder.
Let's go ahead and move back into our new folder by using change directory and let's say new folder. So now we are in our new folder. Let's go ahead and see how we can create a text file and write information to that text file in our new folder. To do that, we're going to use an echo command. So I'm going to say echo and the message, I'm just going to say hello mama and then I'll use the pipe which is a greater than simple symbol and I'll just say hello mama dot txt like so. If I want to check if that worked, I'm just going to say type hello mama dot txt and we should actually see the information within that file. Now we created a text file called hello mama and we wrote the information hello mama. Let's go ahead and open up the new folder. You can actually see we have a text file called hello mama and let's open up that text file and you can see we have hello mama right here. So this is going to actually uh, bring us to the end of the lesson and one quick thing before we run away if I press CLS which is the clear screen and you type help this is going to show you all the commands that exist and you can use. So basically we can actually see a shutdown command that allows proper local or remote shutdown of the machine. And we can actually see other things like the date and time as well. So uh, I hope this helps. And remember if, you, if ever you need any help about any of the commands, let's say you need help on MD, is actually going to tell you the uh, mkdir creates a uh, directory or path if needed and you can actually use md or mkdir mkdir means make directory and md also means make directory these uh, both work for instance if i uh, cd back to my desktop and uh, let's say let's say we use mkdir hi So I'm actually in new folder, sorry. So if I go to new folder, I'm gonna see a folder called hi. Let's take a step back to our parent directory and let's clear our screen. Right, so if I actually use a mkdir hello and I do an md and I say hi, these two commands actually work. Right. And if we ever want to delete or erase a folder, let's say I want to erase the hello folder, I'm going to say erase hello. And it's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm just going to type yes and this should clear it. Sometimes if you're not an administrator, you can't really have access using the command line to clear files. And let's go ahead and set our title once again to hello like so so uh thanks very much for watching guys we am going to uh, we're going to be using the command line to create folders in our python course because we're going to be using visual studio code so uh, uh hopefully you've learned a skill and hopefully you can use the command line to create files rather than going to the new you know kind of like folder and then creating a folder and then you type a name for that folder you actually have a very nice and unique way to actually uh, do this. So hopefully that has shed more light on the command line and hopefully it's not uh, that scary. Thank you very much for watching.